Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable the Canon low ink warning message. So basically the low ink warning message that you may see on your printer or specifically it will show up on your Windows computer when you're browsing the computer. And you might get a little printer notification when you're trying to print something out. And it just basically means that the ink level is low or the cartridge may be empty. It may also mean that the cartridge isn't recognized or that there is no cartridge installed on the printer, which is very unlikely for most cases, but it's worth looking into. However, if you're just looking to go about disabling that message from appearing, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in Control Panel. Best result, should come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by up in the top right to category view. And then you want to select hardware and sound. Underneath hardware and sound up here at the top, you want to select the devices and printers. And give that a moment. And now select printers and scanners. And select your Canon printer from this list. And then you want to select printer properties. Now you want to select the maintenance tab. And you want to select where it says remaining ink notification settings and go ahead and left click on that and give that a moment. And then if you want to disable the notifying the remaining ink level notification, just set that to disabled and then select close to close out of here. If you went back in here, you can also reset the ink levels as well. There was an option to reset them back to default or reset the remaining ink level count so that if you're having some sort of issue with the count. So once you reset, you should refill your ink tank to the upper limit line just so that it understands how much ink is remaining. And then you can select OK. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.